This weekend is the perfect active weekend. Tonight we're running, tomorrow we're going for a swim, and then on Sunday we're going for a bike ride. One of the gyms that I go to has an indoor 200 meter running track. And tonight we're gonna to be doing a push session followed by a 200 meter interval kind of session, just seeing where the injury is at and just having fun and just slowly getting back into running again. Do you know what? I actually feel really good. There's no no aches or pains. I still feel relatively fit, even though it might not seem like it right now, but it's so hot. So that was the first part of my active weekend done. 200 meter intervals around six times with like a couple minutes rest in between and my injury is good I don't feel anything I'm a bit red it's like it was so hot in there it's like the it's like the air conditioning wasn't on but yeah that was good really enjoyed it <laughs> obvious reasons I couldn't actually film in the swimming pool. I couldn't take my camera, my GoPro, my phone or anything like that which is completely understandable but a little bit frustrating because moving forward swimming is going to be a massive part of my routine. I'm already doing it three to four times a week and it's also great for running so I'm going to think of different ways where I can share that part of my journey with you and how I'm incorporating it into run fit but basically what I did on the weekend was a 1k swim which is 40 laps of a 25 meter pool basically just focusing on technique and getting my breathing right because that's actually quite hard when you take it seriously and just building that base building the endurance and hopefully when it comes to properly running again and doing racing again I'll see a massive benefit from the actual swimming at the minute I'm, I'm just focusing on endurance I'm focused on building that base so in other terms general physical preparedness which I am going to talk about in another video because a lot of runners a lot of athletes a lot of people into fitness do neglect that part of training and basically it's just building your base for your actual sport instead of going right into the actual sport you're building that base you're getting stronger you're getting fitter and you're going to be a better overall athlete <laughs> means it's bike ride bike ride sunday we've done 8k so far we're heading back now but it's been good it's like the second leg day of the week If I'm being completely honest, cycling isn't necessarily for me. It was just a bit of fun, something to do on an active recovery day. And as much as I did enjoy it and I got quite a lot out of it, I didn't really get the same feel or buzz as I did with swimming and running. So that's definitely not going to be incorporated into any kind of routine. It's definitely something you can incorporate into run fit, but it's not something I'll personally be doing or properly sticking to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be a lot more running, a lot more swimming, 
I think maybe just talking about it or I'll think of a way to, to get some swimming content, but smash that like button and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.